Hi guys, today we are going to start a new video series which is going to be about industrial automation using PLCs and we are going to understand how these PLCs are getting connected with pneumatics, hydraulics and electrical motor and sensors to make any industrial automation and also we are going to understand how the wiring diagrams are made and how the relay logic circuits are built from that and how the ladder logic circuit, ladder, ladder logic program is written and uh, we are going to understand different industrial applications in this video series. Let us start with a simple industrial application which is nothing but sequence control of a three-phase induction motor using a PLC. Let us understand this relay logic circuit. So here we have two different parts where you have uh, actuators. Here all these three are actuators which is nothing but electrical motors and I have the related contactor with overload relay coils. Here in the power circuit we have these power elements and in the control circuit we are going to have the switching elements and the relay coils with overload relay contacts. So in the switching elements I have one stop switch to stop the process and I have three start switches to start the respective machines. So how this circuit is going to function let us understand. So when the switch number one is getting closed, the path for the motor one or the coil one is getting closed in the control circuit. So the current reaches to the coil number one so that this relay contactor or a coil is getting energized. When this is getting energized, the contacts of this contactor is going to get closed like this. When these three contacts are getting closed, then the motor one is going to run. So that means it is also providing the electrical path for the second motor. So when the second switch is getting uh, pressed or operated, then the second coil is going to get energized and the second coil is getting energized and the respective contacts is going to close here. And when these contacts are getting closed, then the motor number two is going to run. And once it is done, then the third contactor coil is ready for getting the signal from the third switch so when the switch is getting pressed here or operated here then the energy will be received in this coil and when this energy uh, is received in the coil then automatically this coil is going to energize and respectively the contacts are getting closed here so when these contacts are getting closed then the motor number three is going to run so when you want to turn off the machines at any point of time you can operate this switch or if the motor is getting overloaded uh, any one of this motor if it is getting overloaded any that particular overload relay is going to open this contact so that the uh, motors are going to turn off simultaneously so this is the relay logic for this sequence so we have three motors the three motors are going to run in sequence first motor second motor and then third motor so this is the wiring diagram for the above control uh, circuit and uh, power circuit. So we have the PLC here, uh, the, this is a power unit and we have the PLC CPU here and the switching elements are connected to the PLC input card and the contactors are connected to the PLC output card. So since the PLC output card directly uh, cannot drive the motors, we have the contactors here. These contactor coils are driven by this PLC output card based upon the program and the switch operating conditions. So when the switch number one is uh, pressed, so that means uh, this is going to make the Y0 to be active. So that means the path for the Y0 will be closed like this. So here if you see the wiring diagram, the supply from the PLC power unit is going to coil number coil A1 and the output of this coil is going to the overload relay NC contact and from the NC contact it is going back to the PLC output card and if this output card the signal is closed that means uh, it will go to C0 common point 0 and it will go back to the power supply unit. So that means this contactor coil is getting energized. So the contacts are going to get closed so that that motor is going to turn on. So likewise, so the second motor and third motor is going to get connected in sequence and 
the respective motors are going to run at any point of time you can see that uh, switch off button is going to be operated when this switch is operated then the signal will be given in such a way that the ladder logic will turn off all these contactors so that the motors will go off okay so this is the ladder logic for the, the given uh, circuit so that we will see in the simulation so the same problem can be solved in different way this is the another uh, control circuit so i have the switches same number of switches and uh, uh, coils but here it is arranged in different way or it put in the different way you can see the switch number one is placed here when the switch is operated here the coil number one is going to get energized and when the coil one is get energized then it is going to make this path closed so that the second coil is ready to get signal from switch number two and when this switch number two is closed then the second motor or the contactor is going to energized so that the motor is going to run and when this coil is energized then it is going to close this path so that the uh, switch can transfer the energy to the third number third relay coil or the contactors so in this way also we can organize this control circuit so let us see the simulation for the same and we will understand how the ladder logic functions okay so this is the ladder logic which i have already written here so let me simulate this download the program to the PLC keep the PLC in run mode let us see the simulation so here I have the three switches named x1 x2 x3 to turn on this coil so that the motors can be turned on respectively and x0 is used for stopping the process or off push button is named as x0 so let me start this switch so when the switch is pressed x1 is pressed the y0 is getting energized that means the motor 1 is going to run and in case if i am not following the sequence directly i am going to x3 or i want to start this y number 2 uh, let us see what happens so i turned on this switch but uh, since we don't have the power from here the motor number 2 is not getting energized so let us go back to the normal sequence so let me start this second motor by operating the x2 so now x2 is pressed and y1 the second motor is getting connected and because of that the power is available here now i am going to operate this x3 switch so that the third motor is getting on so this is the sequence we require y0 y1 y2 if you not follow the sequence to operate it so it will not going to turn on all the machines so the same circuit is given in this ladder as well you can see here it is just put in different way i am going to operate this switch so that the motor number one is getting energized and it is providing the path here and let me turn on the second switch so that the second motor is getting on and it is providing the path here and the third switch when it is operated the third motor is getting on so in this way we can achieve the sequence control in the plc ladder logic so this same application with the <coughs> uh, relay logic it is a bit uh, tough and uh, more uh, wirings is needed for doing this particular thing so we are achieving the logic in the ladder logic so that uh, the wiring will be easy for doing the process thank you thank you so much for watching and uh, we are going to see or we are going to learn a lot of industrial application in this video series hope you like it and if you like it please like share comment and subscribe thank you